Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the video where I'm building a walk-in closet in this master bedroom. In the previous video I built the frames, they fit nice in there and now it's time to put back the crown moldings and the baseboards. If you didn't see the previous video, check it first. Alright, all the baseboards and crown moldings are back in place. I was able to use the old dream pieces, just cutting them shorter and I also made the baseboard lower so that it matches this cabinet level. And um, of course there are lots of gaps now. These are not sitting exactly flush to the frame, so I will be using cork to seal all the, all the caps and then it will look perfect.
that took forever. I think I used three tubes of this Alex cork. I like to use this one because it doesn't have any strong smell. It's easy to spread and easy to clean with just water. I went through all the nail heads as well, uh, twice actually. This shrinks a little bit overnight, so I added a second layer next day. And I did some touch-up painting to make everything look smooth. As you saw, my trims were a bit short and my miter cuts were not perfect. But really, if you take your time with this stuff and spread it carefully twice or three times, you can make it look really nice. There is a better way to do those miter cuts. The technique is called coping. If you're interested, you can go online and search it on YouTube. The coping, I think, is the only way you can make those inside corners 100% perfect. The rest of this project will be easy, just adding those interior parts to the frames. So let's move on and add the shelves next. some uh, drawers and uh, these boxes. I'm planning to put them to the upper shelves because they are 7 feet high and not so easy to access. So plan is to put something that is not needed daily or weekly. Maybe some seasonal clothes or things like that. Let's build the drawers and install them to the frames.
IKEA boxes are cheap and I think they also look cheap uh, but I couldn't buy anything better now uh, if you know some better looking 7 inch high storage boxes that will fit those frames please let me know in the comments below and I will buy them later is complete and I have to say it turned out pretty nice as you saw I added the light I also added the new light switch uh, with dimmer function and then I also pulled some new wiring to the attic and then we have a rock on the floor around Ottoman and they are exactly under the light and the final touch was to add a mirror on that side of the room Actually, I don't know what this room should be called. Is it the walking closet or is it the dressing room or something like that? Technically, it's not a walking closet because there's no door, so it's not a closet. But whatever, it would be possible to add some sort of sliding doors here and then we would have two separate rooms, but the master bedroom would be much smaller then, so I don't know. 
Another option would be to add sliding doors to those frames and all the clothes would be hidden behind the doors and the whole room would be more clean. Let me know in the comments what you would do. Would you add the sliding doors or leave it like it is now? This project is ready. I like how it came out. Thanks for watching and if you like, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.